You put so much time and effort in creating music, the melodies, the drums, mixing and mastering. After all the hard work you're finally done and the only thing left to do is export the track. Unfortunately, this is where a lot of things go wrong. But that is only when you don't know the ins and outs of the export window. But don't worry, grab some pen and paper and write down everything that you don't know already. And that way, at the end of this video, you will understand how to export your projects like a pro. When your project is done, go to file and then export. Here you can choose between different file types but for now just choose WAV file. Now this window will pop up. If you don't see the same settings as I do click the arrow icons to expand all of them. Let's take a look at the project type. Here we have two options full song and pattern. If you select full song FL Studio will surprise export your entire project. But if you choose pattern FL Studio will do something completely different. If you change it in here you can actually see it changing up on top. Let's say you're making a melody kit and you have your patterns here. Just select one of them and then export it as a pattern. Voila! Next, we're gonna take a look at the tail of the song. Here you can choose between cut remainder, which will cut off your song at the exact end. There's no fade out, nothing. Then we have leave remainder. With this one, FL will export your audio until it's radio silent, like this. Rap Remainder will put the tail of the song back at the start. This is very useful for when you're making loops. Let's say the last sound of your loop is a snare with reverb. Then the reverb will be cut off and put at the beginning of the loop. And that way you have a perfect loop. You should always do that when you're making loops. But for exporting beats you should always select leave remainder. Alright, here you can read the length of your project in bars and in time. At the right you can see the file size. Now these are the output formats. The WAV and the FLAC files are lossless. This means that they don't lose quality after exporting. You can export multiple formats at the same time by the way. For example an mp3 and a WAV file for when you're selling beats or something. The bit depth. Completely misunderstood by a lot of people. Now 16-bit is CD quality and this has been the standard for a very long time. 24-bit is recommended for uploading music to distribution platforms like SoundCloud and other social media. 32-bit is used for archiving the files for when you need them in the future. But in reality humans can't really hear the difference between these bit depths so 16 will be perfectly fine. Now what is the difference between a WAV file and a FLAC file? First of all both file types don't lose quality after exporting. FLAC files are a lot smaller though and that is because they are compressed. You Usually when you compress a file type it means that it loses quality because you're throwing away data. With a flag file you can kind of see it like a zip file. When you zip something in a folder the size decreases. Now if you want you can also increase the compression slider and this reduces the file size even more. But you're trading in your time because it takes FL Studio longer to export. But then why not just use an mp3 file? You can but mp3 files are heavily compressed which means that they do lose quality. With the bitrate slider you can basically decide the quality of the exported music. Now have you ever wondered how producers create MIDI kits? You know these MIDI files that you can drag in the piano roll? Let me show you how to make them. Let's say I want to save this melody as a MIDI. All you need to do is open up the menu on the top left. Then go to file and click on export as MIDI file. That's it. You can also export your patterns from the export window of course. But to render your beats always choose WAV file for the highest quality. Also don't forget to set the track to stereo. Unless you need it to be in mono of course. The quality window is processing the synths and the effects from FL. This part of the export window is worth making a whole other tutorial. So let me know if you would like that. The miscellaneous are super important. The settings on the right change the sound of the file and the ones on the left add information or metadata to the track. If you enable split by mixer track all your mixers will be exported as individual WAV files. This is useful for creating stems or track outs. That way the artist that buys your beat can still remix or rearrange your beats. Trim PDC silence. Leave it on. This fixes unwanted silences that are created to keep everything in sync. Okay make sure master effects and in insert effects are enabled. Otherwise your song will be exported without your effects on. Which means your song goes to waste. The metadata settings on the left don't do anything to the sound of your production. You can enable them if you want to save the data inside the exported file. Now this feature will allow you to upload the music to SoundCloud. Which is very nice. But what if you want to take your project and send it to another producer? Well when that producer opens your project he will not be able to open it because the samples you used are not inside. To fix that go to file, export and then and zip loop package. Now FL will create a zip file with the project and the samples inside. And everyone can open up the project. Okay before you click on export you need to learn how I make my beats sound hard and loud so definitely go check it out. I think you're really gonna love it. Thank you. Gotta go now.